Hello everybody, AJ Ryzik here. In today's video, we're taking a look at UGET, which is a download manager for multiple platforms. Um, we're going to be installing it on Ubuntu, but like I said, it's, it's available for multiple platforms. Um, really, really nice utility. Definitely worth taking a look at. Now, I'm going to do this video in two parts. In this first part, we're going to install it, get it set up, kind of, you know, get the basics of getting it running, and then follow up I'm going to show you how to do a few more I guess you call it a little more advanced things so uh, not quite a series here I, I guess you call it a mini series uh, but anyway let's get started I've got over here in Chrome I've got the you get about page open talks a little bit about what we got going on you get is a lightweight full feature download manager for Linux BSD Android and Windows Notable features, multiple parallel streams for download acceleration, download queue, pause and resume downloads, advanced category management, and, and the features kind of go on and on. You know, uh, download managers, kind of their heyday were back in the uh, back in the dial-up days. I know probably a lot, of my, uh, a lot of my audience does not remember those days. I remember them very well. Um, and, you know, a download manager was really a big deal if you did if you did very much downloading because with speeds being so slow you know you're waiting and waiting and waiting having that ability to pause and resume downloads very big deal back then so a lot of people use download managers and they've kind of I wouldn't say disappeared or fallen to the wayside but you know it's not quite the mainstream thing that it used to be however uh, you know a lot of the features that you get with a download manager such as you get they're, they're going to be pretty useful if you do very much downloading so let's uh, let's kind of get started here with uh, with uh, downloading installing all that kind of stuff so let's get started with installing if you go to the you get download page here they show all these different Linux packages Windows Mac OS Android BSD even the source code let's go like I said we're installing on regular Ubuntu so let's go to the Ubuntu page and you can see there's a couple of different options here you can download uh, via the, uh, the the stable PPA they've got a development PPA it's already included in the Ubuntu Software Center however uh, you're not going to get the latest package you can see here in their list if you're on 1604 you're getting 2.0.2 .2. Which, if you come up and look at the at the stable 2.0.8, okay, so you're not off too far if you're on 16.04. But uh, you know, if you're on any of the older versions, you know, let's go down to if you're on uh, on the 14.04, the last LTS, you know, you're on version 1.10.4. So um, uh, you know, it's definitely a good idea to um, you know go with the uh, maybe the official stable you know hey if you want to play around with beta knock yourself out but uh, no reason not to use a stable so let's go and open the terminal and I'm just gonna copy and paste There's the PPA. Let's do an update. Now, while that's updating, let me uh, show you something. Uh, kind of scroll on down here, along with. Um, you get we are going to install aria 2 and for those of you that have that have watched my previous videos you probably remember me talking about aria 2 back when I did the video on speeding up your downloads um, uh, speed up the Ubuntu and uh, Debian updates with app fast app fast uses aria 2 as well so that you can download multiple streams at the same time 
Um, so we're going to install that as well. So I know right here it tell for for the installation we've got sudo apt install you get. So we're going to sudo apt install you get leave a space and then aria2 enter. We're going to install these packages, yes, and let's let it do its thing. i tell you what, I'm going to pause the video while that's running, and then we'll come back and take a look at what we got. All right, so you get is installed, but there is one other thing that I want to install, and that is, let me open up Firefox here, there is Firefox integration for you get. Let me pull Firefox over here, we'll go to our add-ons. And it's not, it's not official. You get it is called. Flash, uh, God, I think is what it's called. Yes. Read a little more about it here. Uh, Flash got mass downloader. Basically, it allows you when you want to go and download something from uh, Firefox, it allows you to use you get as your download manager. Or, you know, if you had a different download manager installed, it would allow you to use those as well. Uh, unfortunately, there is not, at least as far as I know, there is not a, uh, a, a uh, extension for Chrome or Chromium that allows you to do the same thing. There used to be one. Um, when Google changed the Chrome API, oh, I think maybe two years ago, it uh, it broke the uh, the extension. And as far as I know, there is not a working extension for Chrome slash Chromium. A little bit of a bummer for because I'm a Chrome user, but uh, you know if you are a Firefox user, this does allow you to use use uh, uh, you get so. Let's just go and install this extension. Give it a second to download and install, and then boom, it'll be ready to go. All right, so you do need to restart Firefox so that uh, um, so that you can use that extension. But let's open up UGET and take a look at what it looks like. All right, let me drag it over from my other monitor. And uh, of course, I don't have anything downloading right now, but uh, you know, you can see our, our, you know, it'll list all of our current downloads, our completed downloads, all that kind of stuff, speed up, speed down, all that kind of stuff for us. And uh, you know, I mentioned earlier about the Aria 2 thing, so let's go into our settings. And if you come down to where it says plugins, Aria 2 is not. Uh, is not uh, that plugin is not set up or is not active by default. You're going to need to come in here to plugins, and you see where it says plugin marching order. You can do curl aria2, curl plus aria2, and uh, aria2 plus curl. So I'm going to go with that, and uh, all that looks good. Uh, I want to have selected that we will. Uh, launch aria2 on startup and uh, shut down aria2 on exit I'm not going to set a maximum uh, upload and download speeds I'll just let it run with uh, with the default settings there so let's click close and you're going to need to reboot this to, for the changes to take place alright we got it reopened And there we go. All right. So let's um, let me go and shrink this down a little bit, and we'll pull it over here. And let me get Firefox, drag it on over here, and we're on the Ubuntu download page. And let's just uh, let's just give this a try. We'll just click on download now, and. You can see with the with our new um, uh, Firefox add-in, it'll 
show you down here, you've got the, the option to use the flash got. And what do we want to use? Do you want to use ARIA2, curl? You know, what do you want to what do you want to use? Well, let's come down here to where it says you get and we'll click on OK. And then boom, we get this pop-up that opens and it's given us a URI. It gives us a mirror here. Um, maximum connections up to four. That sounds good to me. So let's click OK. And boom, we're starting our download. Let me go and maximize this so you can get a little better view of what's going on right here. So you can see the name of our, uh, our file that we're downloading, how much is completed, total size, percent, all that kind of good stuff. Um, our download speed right there. And then, you know, once you've got downloads going on, if you like, you can go, let's go and select that particular download. You can go and pause it. You can restart it again. Uh, once it's paused, let's say you, did, you, you, you picked the wrong whatever to download, you can go and get rid of it, do a right click. You can delete entry, which will delete that particular entry off of UGET, or you can delete entry and delete the file that it was downloading. So I'm going to do that just because I really don't need another copy of Ubuntu 16.04 downloaded. But it kind of gives you the idea of what's going on. Now you can also go and copy and paste um, uh, uh, URLs into here. So you can come here to download, do a new one, and then just fill in you know, the URI of whatever it is that you want to download. Boom, go from there. So I'm going to stop this video right here. Uh, just because that kind of gives you the basics of it, the uh, you know some of the easy how-to that kind of stuff, and then like I said, we'll have a follow-up video that has some more advanced features, more advanced how-tos, uh, show you how to do all kinds of neat things with it. So hopefully this video helped you out, you found it interesting, all that kind of stuff. Uh, please leave comments, questions, all that kind of stuff down below, and I try to get to it as soon as possible. And uh, if you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. And I hope to see you all on my next video. Thanks a lot.